guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever of my Battle of the Boxes series. I'm going to be taking BoxyCharm, Ipsy and the Sephora Play Box and just kind of comparing them to each other and kind of seeing which box did better of that month. So that's just going to what it's going to be. So I'm going to go through the boxes, show the products, the prices overall and see which box has better quality, this and that, just kind of comparison and then I'm going to pick the winner for the month. If you guys want to keep on watching, let's get into the video. We have our boxes and then we have the Ipsy bag. I think I'm going to save the Ipsy bag for last because I really like the bag this month. So we're going to save the best for last. If it's the best or not, we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and start with BoxyCharm for the month of March and see what we have in here. Okay, so when you open it up, it looks just like this. I think the card is pretty cool. It's pastel and it says creepy cute. I really like that and I like with the boxy charms that it has a detailed listing of each product, the price and everything. So I think that is pretty neat. As always, this box is $21. If you rounded up the retail value for each item, it's well over $100. So I think that's pretty cool that you're only paying $21 for this box. Alright, so I'm going to go up with the first thing on this list, which, which is the Urban Rustic Palette by Naked Cosmetics. This retails for $39.99, and these colors are gorgeous. And it says, these colors offer a dramatic look when applied, damp, or with the eye base. These colors have a hint of green, bronze, purple, and brown. And then the boxy tip says, apply shadow to your lid to give your eyes a beautiful, pigmented shimmer. For more pigment, lightly wet your brush. For an even more intense look so basically I like to use my setting spray preferably my max fix plus and then just spray the brush and dip it into the product and then apply it and it's just gorgeous how your shimmers turn out when you do that method <laughs> what okay I'm trying to show you guys without this purple one falling out but these pigments are really gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them real quick. Oh wow, these are very creamy, I like that. And that's what it looks like. Let me go ahead and swatch those for you on my arm real quick. So that's what they look like swatched on my arm. They, like I said, pretty pigmented and they're creamy and ooh, just gorgeous, I really like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and have to play with this palette and see how well it works with my skin tone and everything like that. But overall the pigmentation and everything is really amazing. Uh, I'm excited to try that out. So the next thing in the box is the SS023 Deluxe Fan Brush by Crown Royal. It says a Jumbo Kabuki Fan and this retails for $18.99 and it is a lot bigger than what the brush I'm used to but I think it would cover all, overall cover a generous amount on the face. It might be better to apply your bronzer with it or even if you want like a more subtle highlight i think this would be preferable for a more subtle highlight i wouldn't prefer these types of brushes if you're wanting a more intense highlight so i think it's pretty cool and i think i will find a great use for it and the card says this fan brush features a large fan brush head perfect for the soft application of powder products this brush Brush is also great for dusting, for lightly dusting shimmer products onto the skin. Boxy tip. Gently dip a brush across your favorite highlighter or powder and dust across your cheekbones for a beautiful glowy effect. Brush can also be used to buff out powders and bronzers. So yeah, like I said, good for bronzers, highlighters, whatever you think works better for your face, do it. The next one on the list is the Photo Finish Foundation Classic Primer by Smashbox. I've, I got a sample of this before and I really liked it. This is the travel size and this one is $16 and the full size retails for about $34, $34 or $36. So Kathleen Lights was saying how if you purchased two travel sizes, you would save like two to $4 versus buying the full size and you're getting the same amount. So however you wanna go about that. I did enjoy the sample of this product when I received it. And the card says, this primer is the first product that was ever created at Smashbox Photo Studios LA. 
It instantly blurs fine lines and pores, leaving skin a bit with a velvety smooth even finish. This classic Smashbox primer is the best way to start your makeup every day. Boxy Tip says, using fingertips, apply a dime-sized amount before makeup application. So that is true. It does minimize the pores. It blurs the fine lines and everything. Everything it says, it does. And I really did enjoy using this product when I had the sample. So I'm glad that it is in this box again. The next thing on the card is the Matte Liquid Lipstick by Real Her. And this retails for $15. And let me open it up real quick so we can see the color of it. And this is paraben free. It's infused with shea butter, which is pretty cool. It's cruelty free, which is my favorite part of this. And they use natural ingredients. Lipstick says, I am fearless. I really like the packaging. And you can see the color on the bottom. It doesn't say which shade this is. It is a nice berry, like a deep berry, almost like a vampy look type of color. And I think that's really gorgeous and the packaging is gorgeous. This is a lightweight formula that glides onto the lips, leaving a super intense color with a bold ultra matte finish, long wearing and completely kiss proof. Kathleen Lights demonstrated in her unboxing video that this was definitely kiss proof. So I thought that was pretty cool. Usually they will leave some transfer but this is completely kiss proof. So I think that's pretty cool if you wanna go check out her video. I'm gonna leave that link down below so you can check out her thoughts on this box and everything. And it says, this balm formula helps to combat dryness and nourish your lips during wear. So I'm gonna test this out and see how it goes because some liquid lips will dry out my lips. So I wanna see how well this does at keeping my lips moisturized. And the last thing from the BoxyCharm box is this Amp Ampelish Amp Mascara by Makeup Eraser. And this retails for $23. And it's like a mascara serum, but not really like a, a lash serum that's going to help your lashes grow. It's just more to keep the mascara on throughout the day. And it says that this Ampy Mascara is a super rich black amplifying mascara serum that lasts all day and all night. Professional quality and is truly a professional grade mascara. So basically when they use the word serum, it's not to help your lashes grow, it's to help the mascara itself stay on throughout the day. So that's the only difference when they're using that term. So this retails for a little over $115. So that's pretty cool. Let's go on to the next box. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Sephora play box. Um, this is the first time that I've ever received this box specifically. So when you open it up, it looks like this, which is pretty cool. And this one's like another like pastel. Um, they give you this play pass thing and you just take it to Sephora to receive an extra 50 beauty insider points. Bring this card into the store to get a free one-on-one -on -one tutorial for advice that's all about you. So that's pretty cool. So I like that it goes, it gives you a brief description of the product. It doesn't show the um, amount, like what the product would cost, but it does give you how to apply and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. So we're just going to go ahead and go through each product and this is what the bag looks like for the month of march it says glow your own way which i think is pretty cool i wish i had subscribed sooner so i could have gotten last month's bag because i really loved how that one looked but ipsy's bag kind of makes up for that i guess so the first thing we have is the living proof full dry volume blast and i have been using this since i've gotten it and it's a styling and finish spray which is pretty dang cool and it's instant long lasting volume and texture and that is completely what it does i have the split end mender from this brand as well i think this brand is really good so i really like that sephora put this in the box for this month because that's what i've been reaching for since i've gotten this box the next one in here is the chloe sample perfume it is a flower blend revealing a tender rose's heart is what it says um, if we go on here, it shows the notes that are in the perfume, and it is in the floral family. The top notes has lemon essence, absolute verbena frieza. Oh my gosh, I cannot pronounce these, but it has the main scent is lemon. 
the middle notes is rose and cherry blossom and the base notes is white cedar bitter almond and amber so definitely when you like initially spray it you kind of get the rosiness but once you start to let it linger a little bit you can smell the lemon in it so for me I didn't like that I'm not very I don't like lemon in my perfumes so this was an, this was a no for me the next thing in here is the Benefit What's Up, and this is a highlighter from Benefit Cosmetics. And I've actually tried this before, really liked it. It's just like a soft, like subtle highlighter, and I just use it for when I'm like doing natural days and I just want to add a little glow to my skin. I'll put this on real quick. So I like that they put this in the box. The next thing is the Bobbi Brown Long Wearing Cream Shadow Stick and this is in the shade Golden Pink and it's just this nice champagne golden pink color, exactly what it says, it's totally my vibes and let me go ahead and swatch it. Dude, oh my gosh, this is literally so gorgeous and I think I'm going to be using this a lot, I really don't use shadow cream shadows but I think I might be using this just because the color is gorgeous so it'll be nice to try that out and see how well cream shadows work for me. The next thing in the bag for this month is the Glam Glow Glow Starter in the shade Nude Glow and this is a mega illuminating moisturizer. You just apply it evenly to the face. I tried this on my arm to test it out and see how well it works and it's seriously so gorgeous. It's just this nice glow to the skin without add it, like without being like bam you know it just adds that nice subtle glow to your skin so i thought that was pretty cool and it kind of makes me want to buy the full size but we'll see and then this is the last product in the sephora play box is the josie marion the surreal skin argan finishing balm and it's supposed to have like iridescence to the product and to be honest i didn't really like this i tested it out and i really didn't see any glow or anything coming from it and it didn't really hydrate my skin when i tried testing it out so i didn't really like this so we're gonna go ahead and go on to the last subscription and this is the ipsy glam bag and i think they did very good for the month of march it is just this nice champagne pink uh, it's just gorgeous. So I think they did very good on the bag this month. I didn't really like last month's bag too much. And the card says, you are beautiful, pass it on. Pretty is as pretty does. Share this card with someone who can use a little. So I think that's very sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this on to someone and let them know they are beautiful. Okay, so the first thing that we have is this Fosanti, and this is a contour eyeshadow brush. So I like that they put another brush in the box this month, like they did last month. So I heard that it's rare that they put brushes or they don't put brushes as often in the bags as we would like, supposedly, but we had a two bags that I've gotten brushes in them, so let's keep going with the brushes. The next thing in here is the Ava Eva Nye, and this is Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. So this is supposed to be some type of primer for the hair, and it has argan oil, sunflower seed oil, and this is for all types of hair. So we're gonna, I'm gonna test this out and see how well it works. I haven't tried it personally yet. And then we have the Dr. Brandt Micro Dermabrasion H Defying Exfoliator. And this is by the brand Dr. Brandt. And I've been wanting to try this brand for a while, so I'm really excited that they put a skincare in the bag this month. Ipsy did let us pick one product that we'd like to receive in our bag this month. And I did pick the Tartist Lip Paint from Tarte. And this is in this shade Delish. And I just thought this shade was gorgeous. I feel like I might have something similar to this, but this is just like a nice, like, stone brick so I'm glad that I did get that in my bag. And then the last product is this M Princess eyeshadow. And this is a pressed eyeshadow and it's in the shade Chestnut. It's not too dry, but it's a little drier than the other formulas. And it's pretty decently pigmented. And let me just go ahead and swatch that on the back of my hand. I think I'm gonna enjoy using this color. I really love using like browns and neutrals to go with my green eyes. So I think this color is gorgeous. 
So the products that I really liked from the Sephora box were the Living Proof, the Glam Glow, and the Bobbi Brown Shadow Stick. From the Ipsy bag, I really liked the brush and the Dr. Brandt Skin Cream. But I think the overall winner is going to be BoxyCharm. Um, basically, I like almost everything in this box for this month. I really like that they put the Smashbox, this lipstick, the brush, and the eyeshadow. They're really amazing quality. So I think BoxyCharm is the winner for the month of March. But Ipsy did a really amazing job on the bag for this month. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in my purse and use it because I just love it that much. It's an owl. So congratulations, BoxyCharm, for winning the month of March of my Battle of the Boxes. Yeah. And I'm really just excited to see what comes for the next Battle of the Boxes. Also, I do want to give a quick shout out to a friend of mine that gave me some lipsticks to try from her brand. Her brand is Makeup Addict. She's on Instagram. If you want to check her out, it's makeupaddict.ca. And she's very kind and I'm very thankful she sent me for these to test out. One is going to go in my giveaway actually. And this is what I'm putting in the giveaway. This is the lip gloss and this is in the shade Utopia. And it's just this gorgeous coral toned color. So I think you guys would really like this. Her brand is cruelty free. She's been working on this brand for so long and so hard and the, it really shows. And her makeup is mineral based. So go ahead and check out her Instagram and give her some love and follow her and um, buy some amazing products. This one is the matte lipstick and this is in the shade Rapunzel. And these just have this nice like cookie dough type of scent to it. But it smells really good and it's not too like heavily scented. It's just like the right amount of scent, if you know what I mean. It's just this nice gorgeous Rapunzel pink as it says. It's kind of like a purple undertoned pink and it's just gorgeous and it feels amazing. And it feels, it's just gorgeous. It feels amazing and it feels hydrating to the skin. So it's not going to dry out your lips but it's going to give that matte finish. If you guys want to see these products and test them out for yourself, go ahead and contact her on her Instagram. I'm going to leave all her information down below for you guys to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching my Battle of the Boxes and can't wait to do it again next month. You guys have an amazing day and love you guys.